Hey guys, welcome back to Flying with Brian. This is episode 10. I'm restoring a 1946 Taylorcraft BC-12D, and right now I'm doing the fabric work on the right wing. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you how I did uh, reinforcing patches on that fabric. Uh, those patches go around things like the fuel tank filler neck and the fuel tank drain and the wing strut attachment fittings. So I'll show you how I did those patches. Uh, let's get to work. I'm starting with some cardstock patterns that I made, and these are actually uh, from the left wing, but uh, with just a little tweaking, they will work also for this right wing. So making sure that those uh, cardstock patterns fit, and then I'm gonna cut out uh, a rough pattern from some uh, aluminum that I have scrap laying around, and then we'll fine tune that fit. Well, I've done a little cleaning up around the edges and uh, scuffed it all with some scotch Brite, And I think we've got a fit here on this front spar fitting. So that will get glued down to the fabric and then another piece of fabric will go over the top of this whole thing. It'll make a nice clean fitting around that uh, strut fitting. All right, I've got the rear strut fitting finished now. This one uh, has a tube that goes across here that braces it, and it makes a little hump, and uh, so it's kind of a compound curve. I don't know if you can tell, but I uh, had to do a little, a little stretching, a little shrinking to kind of get this to lay down right. It took a while, but I think I've got something I'm happy with here. All right, so these are uh, ready to glue down. Actually, what I'll do is I'll glue the, uh, the fabric that goes over the top to uh, the aluminum and then I'll cut out the uh, the inside of that and then I'll put the whole thing down and glue it all down to this fabric at one time. So we'll do that for the front and the rear spars. Well, now I've got a reinforcing tape over this tube. Uh, really, this end is where it, the tube kind of rubs on the fabric. So that's just uh, reinforcing the fabric there. And I've got two coats of uh, adhesive uh, inside this uh, outline here. And I've got the uh, lightweight fabric uh, adhered to this piece of aluminum. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna I'm gonna lay down a, uh, a wet coat inside uh, this small area where the aluminum's gonna go on, and I'm gonna glue that down. And once that's stuck, we'll, we'll go over the top of the fabric and uh, glue the fabric down, the, the reinforcing fabric down to the main fabric. All right. I'm gonna kinda work fast here if I can. To keep this wet. All right, let's try that. All 
All right, I think we've got that down. Now I'm going to come over the top of it and glue that uh, reinforcing fabric down. I'm going to get a little pencil to help it lay down along the edge here. Just trying to get that fabric to lay right up against that so there's not a big gap. I'm going to let that dry, smooth the edges down a little bit, and put one more coat through the top of it. And this one ought to be good. All right, it's time to do the same thing for this rear strut fitting. Got the reinforcing doilies on. So that leaves tomorrow. I'm going to flip it over and do the doily around the fuel tank and give the, uh, the top fabric its last uh, shrink to the final tautness. Well, it's the next day. And uh, my neighbor Kurt came over, we got the wings flipped over, and I turned the iron on and heated up to uh, the last two shrinks, finishing up at the 350 to 375 range. And now I'm gonna work on this uh, doily around the fuel cap. And uh, I just had a roll of tape that was about the right size for this circle. So you can see there, got my circle drawn. We'll draw a circle on this. Uh, this is lightweight fabric here. See it? So there's my circle on that. I'm going to cut that out with some peaking shears. Oh, 
Oh, you can see what I'm doing. But this is how you make doilies. Find something of the appropriate size to make a circle with. Draw the circle, cut it out of the fabric, and uh, I will make, uh, I'll use that thin adhesive and I'll put uh, a couple of coats of that down inside the circle there on the fabric. So a couple coats around here and then uh, I'm going to cut out the middle of this so it'll, it'll fit over that opening for the fuel tank and then we'll, we'll glue this doily down around there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but more like a circle and less like an egg would be great. That's that. Now I find a little cup here. It's about the size of the tank opening. All right, well, let that flash off. But now I'm going to cut out this inner circle. And hopefully you can see that um, fabric work is certainly not rocket science. It can be a bit tedious. And uh, I'm certainly not uh, the Jedi master of it by any means yet. Probably not a show winner either. But uh, to make a nice, safe, uh, airworthy, and good-looking fabric job, it's not, uh, it's not too hard to do. It just takes a little time. I think that's going to work. Lay one more coat of adhesive on this. You can see I'm also getting a little bit up on that neck because I kind of want the fabric to also glue a little bit against the neck of that filler. That way, if and when I spill fuel when filling it up, which eventually happens. Hopefully it will just uh, go down the wing and be able to be quickly wiped up instead of going between the wing and the fabric and inside causing problems in there. All right, so we got a couple coats on here. I'm gonna let that flash off. And we'll go about sticking the uh, dolly on. All right, get this laid down. There we go. Now I'm gonna come through the top of this fabric with more adhesive to grab what's underneath it. As it soaks through, it activates with that adhesive underneath and bonds that fabric down.
that's how we make a doily. All right, so we got the wing off the saw horses back into the rotisserie. Um, we've got most of the basic fabric work done. The fabric is, is the top and bottom are both adhered to the structure. They've both been shrunk three different times up to 350, 375 degrees, so it's nice and taut. Uh, we got a few of the doilies on. Uh, the next thing we'll do in the rotisserie here is I'll lay a bead of glue on each one of the ribs, and I'll come back over that with some of this reinforcing tape. I'll get my little burning tool, and we'll burn a hole where each of the holes in the ribs are for those wire clips. So we'll be putting the wire clips in, in all the ribs, and then after all those are in, it's on to the finishing tapes. Uh, Christmas is right around the corner. It's a busy time of year for, uh, for me and my work, so uh, we may slow down, but hopefully we're gonna get this wing fabric work done, hopefully in January, maybe February, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we're making some good progress. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Flying with Brian.